Hello friends, welcome to Cortex YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss a clinical case scenario. This is going to be an interest video. Uh, please uh, follow the question here. Elderly male with known coronary artery disease and known systemic hypertension and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Uh, he complains of uh, frequent episodes of irregular heartbeats. He reports uh, transient sensation of racing heartbeat followed quickly by normal heartbeats and ECG is obtained what is the diagnosis by looking at the history if some patient is having irregular uh, palpitations that means it may be related to arrhythmias and is already known as CAD and uh, diabetes hypertension they are risk factors and uh, of course you know, CAD is a risk factor for uh, PVC and other source of arrhythmias so let's look at the ECG so assuming that if this ECG is taken with a normal standard standardizations, let us comment on its rhythm first. So any ECG first you have to comment rhythm. So for rhythm you have to see lead to. Look at the lead to. Here it's given. This is the rhythm strip. See these are normal sinus beats. Why I'm saying normal sinus beats? There there is a P wave. QRS complex and T wave. P wave, QRS complex and T wave. This is abnormal beat. I will tell you what it is. Now again normal sinus beat, sinus beat, sinus beat, sinus beat. So and if you look at the distance between two RR interval that is two R waves of sinus beats that is equal. So there is irregularly irre irregular rhythm because see these sinus beats are regular and see look at this this there is irregularity so there is irregularly irregular these irregularities at a regular interval see look at this this is one two three third beat four five six seven eight so every third and eight beat there is irregularities that means uh, there is some amount of regularities there so rhythm is regularly irregular regularly irregular okay now let's look at the, calculate the rate to calculate the rate you have to divide 300 divided by number of big boxes between two r waves of sinus beats so these are your two r waves 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's coming six and a half or seven so to calculate here, we will calculate here one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 plus something. Okay, 300 divided by more than 6 means it's coming less than 50 beats per minute. Okay, 300 by 6 means 50. So you, the interval is more than 6. So it is heart, heart beat is less than 50. It's almost around 48 beats per minute. Okay, that means there is bradycardia. But rhythm is in, so background rhythm is in sinus rhythm. So we can call it as sinus bradycardia sinus bradycardia okay okay so rate and rhythm is over now let's calculate the axis what is axis so for the axis we have to see lead 1 and lead avf so in lead 1 qrs complex is predominantly positive upward in lead avf uh, sinus QRS complexes are predominantly upward positive so that means normal axis axis is normal that to between 0 to 90 degree plus okay now we calculated the rhythm rate and axis now let us look at the abnormalities here so what are the abnormalities that you can find out obviously conspicuous or striking abnormality are your these uh, complexes i'll tell what are these complexes later but if you observe carefully you are able to find uh, q waves in lead 2 3 and avf q wave in 2 3 avf 2 3 avf suggests inferior wall q wave means it is already evolved or chronic so chronic and there is one more thing that is suggestive of chronic infarction is t wave inversion so T wave is not norm, no, it has not become normal. That means it's still chronic MI. We can call it as chronic uh, because of the presence of Q wave and T wave inversion. And uh, 
mm, why inferior because 2 3 avf so 2 3 avf leads shows leads 2 3 avf shows chronic inferior wall mi okay see the presence of chronic inferior wall mi can trigger few complexes can trigger few arrhythmogenic uh, beats abnormal beats okay now uh, we can also die we can also diagnose with the help of ecg whether this is inferior wall of right ventricular or left ventricular just by looking at the this pvc's uh, morphology in which lead it is positive in which lead it is negative so now let's come to this abnormal striking morphologies of qrs in the lead to let's look at in the lead to rhythm strip first second third beat is abnormal what is this abnormality look at this qr inter qrs interval and this qrs interval this is broad wide qrs and it doesn't have p wave let me zoom and show you look at this this is an identifiable p wave this is also identifiable p wave but look at this complex it doesn't have p wave p wave is not there p wave is not there and this is uh, wide qrs complex with discordant t wave that means qrs uh, direction and t wave direction is different that's why it is discordant okay uh, so this is uh, and it doesn't have any particular pattern like in uh, bundle branch like uh, w pattern m pattern so this is this suggests intraventricular conduction delay and uh, this is typical of pvc is premature premature ventricular complexes so how many types of premature uh, pvcs are there in this uh, ecg look at this pvc this is a pvc i would like to call it as pvc1 because look at this morphology this is down in lead to and look at the fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth complex so this is also white this also doesn't have p wave and this is discordant t wave and no certain pattern like mrw so it is a ivcd that is interventricular conduction delay so it is a pvc but here the morphology is different it is upward in the same lead so that means there are presence of two pvcs i would like to call it as pvc2 so two distinct premature ventricular complexes that means there are two different foci okay if both the pvcs are of same morphology that means both are arising from the same foci but here the morphology of pvcs are different so it is a case of multifocal pvcs premature ventricular complexes multifocal it is not unifocal multifocal pvc arising from two foci in this ecg okay now so we we came to know the rhythm rate axis and uh, there is a presence of inferior volume and multifocal uh, pvc so far we know this now let us look try to localize the uh, pvcs okay to localize in general i would like to say one statement in general the location of pvc is the uh, the direction of pvc in what leads they are negative leads in which pvcs are negative tells us the direct uh, location of the location of the pvc what i mean by this location of pvc see ne negative means the current is away going away from the lead let's suppose this is electrode this is tissue myocardium tissue the current if it comes towards the lead it is perceived as positive if it goes away from the lead it is perceived as negative so that means in leads if it is the uh, pvc is, is uh, complex qrs complex is negative that means current is going away from the lead so that means the focus is this so if it is in the 2 3 avf in 2 3 avf leads the pvcs are negative that means the source of foci is inferior wall okay inferior wall. let us look at the where this pvcs are negative let's look at the pvc1 okay pvc1 this is let us look at the pvc1 
so this the direction of pvc one is negative in two okay and negative in avf that means it is going away from the leads two and avf that means it is present in the inferior wall and uh, from the inferior wall it is uh, producing the electricity which is depolarizing the for the all the myocardium so that, that that means the current is going away from the leads so it is perceived as negative that means that's why there is pvc is of negative so first pvc first pvc is arising from the inferior wall inferior wall whether it is right ventricular inferior wall or left ventricular inferior wall for that you have to look v1 lead v1 let us look at the lead v1 okay so this is the lead v1 in this lead v1 this is pvc number one so pvc one so the direction of v1 uh, pvc in v1 is upwards okay that means v1 current is coming towards the v1 v1 is located near the right ventricle that means if the current is coming towards the v1 that means it is not produced by the right ventricular it is produced by the left ventricular so left ventricular current let me draw and show you let's suppose these are your ventricles here is our v1 and here is our v6 if the foci is here it produces the current in this direction which is towards the v1 that means positive which is away from the v6 that means it is negative in the v6 so in v1 if something is positive means the location is on the left side okay so here the pvc1 it is inferior wall and left ventricle i hope you are getting so left ventricular left ventricular inferior wall okay lv inferior wall is the location of the pvc1 i hope you got it let's decode the location of uh, what is that pvc2 okay so let us look at the pvc2 pvc2 that means this this uh, pvc this pvc2 is positive in lead 2 positive in lead 2 that means exactly opposite of pvc1 positive in lead 2 means it is not present in the inferior wall it is lead 2 is perceiving it as positive means it is coming towards positive coming towards the inferior wall means it is present above above means where most common location is right ventricular outflow tract let me write here pvc2 it is positive in lead 2 means it is coming towards inferior wall towards inferior wall that means some somewhere above from above it's coming so most common non-infarct uh, pvc location is rv outflow outflow so this is rv outflow okay and this also has which pattern look at this v1 so this pvc is negative in v1 that negative means what what did i tell negative means v1 that means it is going away means right ventricle so it is also already telling it is right ventricle so we are right okay so pvc1 is arising from the left ventricular inferior wall pvc2 is arising from the right ventricular uh, outflow so this is the interpretation of this ecg so that means this elderly man is having what all are the things what all are the things let me summarize and write here so he is a known diabetic hypertensive and coronary artery disease the ecg is showing let me summarize the ecg findings here obviously it is sinus bradycardia why sinus rhythm because background si uh, rhythm is sinus originating from sinus uh, node bradycardia and it also shows intraventricular conduction delay in in forms of pvcs one and two and uh, there is also there is presence of chronic inferior wall mi which is an idas for, for pvc1 and there are uh, okay these uh, pvcs i'll write here pvc1 and 2 are multifocal these pvcs are multifocal okay so this is about this video uh, if you don't understand anything please free feel to comment below your queries i would be very happy to answer them uh, hope you understood something from this video if so please like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching
Thank you.